hi everybody uh, just a quick video um, just to update you on a new project uh, for some members of the club and it follows the release by Ricewitz Press of O Group by David Brown uh, linked to Two Fat Lardies, uh, the battalion size actions of World War II, fabulous uh, set of rules and um, unfortunately I have my brother to blame for this uh, I already have uh, 20 mil German forces of various types um, along with armour for German and allied troops and um, we've also got 6mm Rommel based uh, forces as well However, uh, as is often the case with the launch of a, a rule set, particularly one linked to Two Fat Lardies and, and Dave Brown at uh, Rice Rich Press, uh, we decided to look at a different scale. And uh, Pendraken, unfortunately, um, have emptied my bank account of a good few pounds. And uh, we've gone for 10mm. And I fancied something different, so I've actually gone for uh, the British, uh, based on 1943, close to probably Italy, uh, as far as, as I can. So uh, the box turned up this morning, and I just wanted to show you some of the goodies that uh, have arrived in there. Okay, so I'll just change the uh, camera angle slightly, and I'm hoping that this might give you um, a better insight into um, what I'm about to show you. So let's hope so. Um, the light is uh, not so good now um, as when I started the video, but uh, this is uh, end of March. So as you can imagine, um, the evenings still get dark quite early. So 50 mil wide uh, circular bases. I'm gonna use these um for o group purposes for combat patrol markers so um these will be in effect uh like a jump off point for my units uh, my scouting units or any units really that are attached to my companies um and yeah i'd like to make them scenic bases i may well do in due course but for now they are going to be just sort of marked with an insignia or, or some kind of identification number for the uh, the letter of the company example um what other goodies have we got in here so the first thing i can see here is um the churchills so let's see if we can zoom them in a little bit these are um churchill fours i believe so um these are the six pounder turret um, very nice um, lots of armor uh, very slow uh, a reasonable gun for certainly the early part of the Italian campaign um, but they'll be nice to paint so they, they look interesting um, then we've got Dame Ladingos uh, the scout cars so again again let's see if we can zoom that in a little bit more let's see yep so you can see the detail on that um, a bit of camouflage you know they're nice um, I might use one of those uh, with my reconnaissance platoon but I might also use one as part of an HQ stand or, or something like that um, Quite adaptable, they're used for various things, so they'll be quite useful. So, what else have we got? Ah, Daimler again. Uh, this time, um, Daimler Armoured Car. So, this is the other part of the um, reconnaissance platoon, as will be. Um, it's a lovely little, lovely little vehicle, anyway. So, um, I'll enjoy putting that one together and uh, painting that up. But again, you know, these are these are 10 mil, so you can see from my my fingers there, these are small um, small models, um, you know, and um, that will lead me on to a question in a moment. Um, 
and one that's uh, a bit divisive in our in our little group. Um, these are uh, Sherman's um, camouflage Sherman's in this case um, with the various bits and pieces to put together again. Uh, you can see the sort of okay the turrets have got to be attached on, but um, you can see the uh, the detail there. I think uh, these will be Sherman fives. Uh, they're basically 75 millimeter in terms of what the British were using at that point. Uh, we weren't at the dizzy heights of uh, the 76 and the Fireflies that early on, or not with the force I'm building up anyway. And then these are um, part of my Bren Carrier groups. Um, there's various platoon options within. Um, or section platoon options within the British list for Bren carrier platoons. Uh, in this case, this these are wasps. Um, so these are the the flamethrower uh, variant. And again, um, you can see there some some really good detail on the on the models. Again, there. Um, yeah, they're very nice. Uh, more armor. Um, this time, Stuarts. Uh, this is the Stuart Mark V, I believe. Um, still had the uh, the small gun, um, but again, a very nice looking tank. Uh, again, really a light, a very much a light tank for reconnaissance and uh, and the like. Um, these certainly won't be able to handle much in the way of a slogging match. Uh, not that much of the Allied armour can when, you, when you're going up against um, German armour, for example. Uh, you need weighted numbers or you're going to have to be a little bit clever uh, with how you take out uh, German armour, i.e. flank or rear shots. And uh, these little chaps will help with that, the anti-tank uh, elements. So these are the six pounders with the uh, with the crew. Again, lovely little models. You can even, even in the detail just on, on here, you can see, um, you know, they've got some, some nice detail on the, uh, and character to the, to the figures there um, in terms of, We've got a loader there, for example, uh, and, the, and the guns are obviously in the packs as well there. So um, then we're getting into uh, the infantry chap. So these are just straight uh, additional riflemen. I've, I've actually bought an army pack, um, but this was uh, some extras that I needed. So again, these are a lovely little, uh, lovely little fellas, uh, well detailed. If I can get them to zoom in, yeah. So again, you can kind of get a flavour of, of, of those. And uh, then we have an unusual vehicle, really, for in, 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 for in terms of the lists. Um, I decided to go for an M10 uh, Wolverine. Um, the British used the 3-inch, uh, the 76 millimeter, I believe it was, uh, variant. Lovely model. Um, yeah, you wouldn't have many of these, but um, they certainly use them, and uh, they add a little bit of firepower uh, to the battalion. Again, in certain games, depending on what you think you might be facing, they could be quite useful. And then we've got some more infantry. Uh, in this case, these look to be the engineers. Um, we can tell from the... From the, from the packet there with the guys with the mine clearing equipment um, yeah they're, they're very very nice um, and say so the plan is with the infantry probably uh, are my calculations to put four to a base um, and obviously pimp the bases up with some sort of scenery um, and, and any other things that will add a little bit of uh, character to the bases, but um, I'm working on four to a base. And uh, these chaps, again, I think uh, are 
riflemen again um, just in a different guise these look like these guys are sort of charging forward attacking very very nice models from that point of view um, these are uh, headquarters command chaps so I'll be using these probably for things like company commanders battalion commanders uh, probably more likely the battalion HQ uh, static sort of HQs really that don't play too prominent a part in the game in terms of moving around and doing things um, so they were just to add a little bit again a bit of character as were these chaps the Jeeps um, so obviously they were used by the Americans, the English, the French, um, probably other nations as well. Um, but again, just just a bit of character. Probably more likely to be um, company commanders or the battalion HQ. Um, yeah, very very nice. Very impressed with the figures actually. They, as always with Pendragon, they're lovely little sculpts. And to be fair, uh, looking at them in the bags. Uh, they don't need, look like they're going to need an awful lot of cleaning up either. There's, there's not a lot of uh, additional metal on there to be to be scraped off. Um, but again, Brens um, or Universal Carriers, as you as we would call them, uh, with the with crews already on there. Again, lots of lots of character in those chaps. Um, I think they're really really nice. Really really nice. So they'll be part of the uh, carrier platoons, which actually look quite interesting in the game itself. Um, these are, uh, again, I think are exactly the same, just um, possibly the camouflaged options. Um, again, just to add something a little bit different. I might use these more for uh, reconnaissance chaps. But yeah, the carriers look quite interesting in the game. Um, they carry quite a lot of firepower. I think they're very vulnerable. Um, certainly you don't want to you want to shoot first not be shot at first um, so um, yeah going to be interesting in, in terms of how these are used or how best to use these in the game and um, I'm sure I will find out the hard way as I normally do uh, when I roll some wonderful uh, wonderful low dice and uh, I'm not going to get this all out for the purposes of the video, but this is uh, the army pack. Uh, it's got a mixture of all sorts of infantry types in there. Um, I believe there are things in there such as piots, radio operators, flying officers, sten gunners, um, yeah, um, machine guns, etc., etc. There should be should be quite a lot in there. Um, I think these were. These packs were something like 25 quid. It doesn't look a lot, does it, for 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 what you're paying? But uh, actually, the there's a lot of lot of chaps in there, and with the scales I'm using, you're going to be able to get a lot of bases out of that. Um, so, so that's um, the main the main figures that I've purchased so far. Um, so uh, yeah, mainly infantry. I didn't want to go over the top um, as far as armor and things like that at this stage because this is an infantry-based game. But what I was hoping to do is give myself lots of flexibility in terms of the kind of things um, you know that I that I could buy there. So um, yeah, there's, there's there's quite a collection of, uh, of 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 bits and pieces from that point of view and. Um, what I'm planning to do is probably base the infantry, um, I think we've agreed on 50 30s uh, MDF, um, and then probably some of the individual squads will be on 40 30s. Um, HQs doesn't really matter, but um, there's also a bit of a debate going on about whether to base or not to base uh, vehicles. Now, I'm very much in the not to base camp when it comes to tanks normally however i do and can understand maybe with this scale where they're that bit smaller uh where where basing may be appropriate but uh to be decided on that one but certainly the infantry will be my first focus and um what i've done is i've, I've bought some um plastic soldier company army sprays 
Um, so I bought the British green and the British khaki. And what I'm going to do is underco all the infantry in the khaki. Um, put in the um, the main colours and then do a, a dry brush um, of a, a tan colour and then probably a wash over the top. Um, I want to make it nice and simple, quick and easy to knock out because there's, there's quite a lot of infantry to uh, to do. I'm looking to put probably four figures roughly to a, to a base. Uh, obviously three bases will, will make up the company, three companies will make up the uh, battalion. I've bought some extra bits of infantry here and there for some of the support platoons, carrier platoons, etc. Um, and um, I'm hoping that will give the British a, a few options. Uh, they're, they're a little bit probably limited in the battalion support side of things compared with some of the other uh, people in the lists. Um, but uh what they do have is is pretty good so um i think that will make for quite an interesting force um but that's my 10 mil pendraken o group uh battalion starting to come together uh and what i hope to do is post some updates as we go along over the following weeks and months as i attempt to uh to get these painted uh whilst trying to balance work family and everything else um but I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon.